Welcome to a financial mathematics video here and we are looking at income, types of income and wages and salaries today, finding out the difference between those. Let's check out the details. So income, you've got different payment methods. Some people get paid by wages. Now what's a wage compared to a salary? A wage is a payment made based on a certain amount of money per hour worked. If you don't work, you don't get paid pretty much on this sort of system. So you get a, uh, an amount of a dollar amount per hour. So questions will be looking a bit like this example. Find the amount earned by Jim if he works 38 hours at a rate of $24.60 per hour. Now that looks pretty straightforward and it actually is. So to work out how much he earns altogether there, we just do that 38 times the hourly rate um, of uh, $24.60. Now when it says per hour over here, let me have a look. When it says per hour, uh, remember that's like for each hour. Some students uh, don't realize that for each hour worked. So if he gets uh, for one hour basically $24.60 and he works 38 of them, uh, then that's just a multiply question. So he gets a total of $934.80 and because the question was asked in sentence form, we've got a bit of an obligation to turn it into a, a bit of a sentence there. Jim earned $934.80. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. He gets paid a certain amount per hour, and so you're just multiplying by how many hours he works there. Okay, now there's a bit, a few trickier things there. There's overtime rates when people um, work on a Saturday or a public holiday or something like that, or Boxing Day in some stores. Um, they get paid a little bit extra for that because um, they could have been having a nice weekend or a nice uh, public holiday themselves, but they've chosen to work or they've been asked to work. So they get a little extra in their pay. Now how that works is there's time and a half uh, for some uh, sessions of those, those special days and that is calculated at 1.5 or one and a half times just the normal rate of pay so that's a bit of a bonus there and sometimes when it's a long weekend or a special public holiday people get double time they get paid twice as much as they normally would so that's just two times the normal rate so it's not a terribly hard com com complicated uh, calculation it's just a little adjustment for those special types of being paid at special times of the year let's have a look at an example of that sort of calculation if sam's normal wage is twenty eight dollars fifty that's just normal hours find out how much he earns altogether in total from five hours of normal time eight hours at time and a half and four hours at double time so um we have to make sort of three separate calculations there and then add it all up at the end. Let's have a look how we do it. So the first bit is five hours normal time. So that's this bit here. Five hours at normal time. That's like example one here. We're just multiplying that out with any with no uh, special adjustment there. So that's $142.50 on my calculator. You could double check me. Uh, now the second bit, we've got eight hours at time and a half. Now we set up here that time and a half should be 1.5 times the normal rate. So uh, 1.5 times what we'd normally do for that. Eight hours times $28.50. So that special thing I've put in blue there is the adjustment for being time and a half for those eight hours. And we'll get that calculated. Now the last bit is four hours at double time. So he gets paid twice as much as he normally would there. So our adjustment uh, there is uh, two times. So we adjusted uh, 1.5 for the time and a half section. This time for double time, we multiply the whole thing by two. Uh, so the whole thing is, uh, the normal thing is four hours at a normal rate of pay of $28.50, but because it's double time, we're timesing it by two, makes sense. $228 for that section and we just get a, a total so we've got a so there's that's the normal hours there's the time and a half section and there's the double time section keep you working out nice and clear and add everything up carefully and once again it's asked in a sentence form so we'll just answer in a bit of a sentence Sam earned uh, $712.50 in total so it's a bit more complicated there you got a couple of sections where you're uh, I guess exploring those rewards that some people get when they work on special days. Alrighty, so that's wages, uh, payments made uh, based on a certain amount per hour worked. There's one particularly challenging type of question they can ask and I want to go through it now with you. Find Sally's normal wage, we're kind of working backwards in this one, we're finding her normal wage rate per hour and the information we've got is she earns a total of 700 and 
$36.25 and this is the breakdown of how she worked 9 hours normal time, 8 hours at time and a half and 5 hours at double time. Now this is a pretty complex sounding question so listen carefully as we go through it. What we have to do is Step one is to work out a total equivalent normal hours, and I'll explain that as we go here. Um, so, nine hours at normal time, this section here in the question, nine hours normal time, we don't have to make any adjustment there because they're, they're just normal hours anyway. So that's nine hours of normal time, and so that's equivalent to nine normal hours, no big deal there, okay. But now here's the tricky bit. 8 hours at time and a half. This section here, to work out this section, 8 hours at time and a half. Uh, Sally might work 8 hours, but she gets paid 1.5 times that. See up here, she's at this, 1.5 times the normal rate. So she gets paid as if she works 1.5 times 8 hours. So 8 hours, I'm saying there, is equivalent to 12 hours of normal time. So how did I get 12? If I did 8 times that 1.5, 1 1.5 1 lots of 8 is 12. She gets paid as if she worked 12 normal hours. So that's a bit of a bonus for her. So we're working out the normal hours, the equivalent normal hours. So here, this next section, 8 hours at double time is equivalent to, if, you, if you're get pay, getting paid twice as much as you normally would and you work 5 hours, that's as if you worked 10 hours. So the total equivalent normal hours, if we add those right hand side numbers up, is 31 normal hours. So we had 9 from that one. We had 8 lots of 1.5 making 12 there. So we got 9, 12. And we had um, 5 hours of double time making 10. So that's where we got those numbers, made 31 there. So, so normal hours are just normal. <laughs> 8 hours at time and a half are worth 12 hours and 5 hours at double time is worth 10 hours of pay. So getting she's getting paid as if she worked 31 normal hours. So that's very helpful for us because then we go to step 2, the hourly rate. We can just then do the total amount of pay divided by those total equivalent normal hours. We can't just add up the hours 9 and 8 and 5 over this uh, left hand side here because not all those hours are paid in the same sort of way are they? So let's have a look. Hourly rate total pay in the question said uh, told us $736.25 we worked out that the total equivalent normal hours on that right hand side was 31 normal hours. She didn't work 31 normal hours. How much did she work? 8 and 9 is 17. She worked 22 hours but she got paid as if she worked 31 normal hours because some of those hours were rewarded for extra special days. So if we just do the total pay divided by how many normal hours there kind of uh, it's equivalent to, we get a, an hourly rate of pay of $23.75. So that is a really quite an involved question. We're working backwards, we're figuring out what the, each of those sections of pay and the different ways here are worth if they were normal hours, and then we're doing a division at the end there. So Sally's normal wage rate is $23.75 per hour. Okay, so that's the most challenging style of question you'll get on wages there, on overtime. Uh, they'll get a total amount of uh, pay with a certain amount of arrangements of different hours here, and that's how you work it out. So um, have a look at that example again if you're not sure of what I'm doing there. But uh, in the end, we're being really careful with uh, how much each of those pay sections is worth in normal hours, comparing it to as if she just got paid normally. All right, just to sum up then, salary is based on... Oh, hang on, I haven't done salaries yet. Let's have a look at salaries, then we'll sum up. A salary is just a payment based on a fixed yearly income, no matter how many hours are worked. So, um, so people on a salary can, though, be paid weekly, fortnightly, or monthly. That doesn't really... Just because someone's paid weekly doesn't mean they're on a wage, necessarily. That's just... It could be a salary just divided up into 52. So a salary... Uh, people who work on a salary, well teachers uh, for example, work on a salary. We get a certain amount in our pay each, uh, each week or fortnight or month and um, if we have uh, a busy time around reporting or exam setting time or exam marking time, we don't get it paid any extra but we do get paid through the holidays and things like that. If your, uh, parent, your dad is an accountant, around tax time they work very hard uh, for many many long hours 
but over the whole year they'll get paid a, a, a normal amount. They won't get paid extra around tax time and they won't get paid any less around the easier times of the year if they have some. Okay, so that's a salary. So questions you'll get on that are a little bit more straightforward than that last example. Example three here, Ashley's annual salary is $72,867. Find out how much she receives weekly. Now, how we do this depends on whether we uh, quote uh, a year as 52 weeks or you might have 52.2 or 52.18. The textbook sometimes or the question sometimes asks you to use a certain version of a year. For this purpose, we'll just use 52. Weekly pay is going to be, that's 72,867 divided by 52 to find out how much each week she gets. And uh, now, it's not all that sensible for me to quote all these numbers after the second decimal point because we're talking about dollars and cents here. So we'll just round that off to two decimal places. That's a logical thing to do for anything involving money. Um, so yeah, so weekly pay is $1,401.29. Matter of fact, these days we might round that off to 25 or, t or 30 cents there. But uh, once again, we'll answer in a, in a sentence form. So that's not too bad. Just keep your wits about you there. And read the question to see if there's a certain format of how many weeks in a year they want you to use, because sometimes they tell you. All right, that's salaries. And so now we'll sum up. <laughs> Got a bit carried away before. Wages. Uh, payment is made based on a certain amount of hours worked. Now you do have overtime rates uh, like time and a half uh, and double time if uh, you're working on Saturdays or public holidays or Sundays or whatever. And so salaries is based on a, a fixed yearly income no matter how many hours are worked. But uh, that can be split up into weekly, monthly or fortnightly um, type pay packets if um, uh, that's how that's the form that they get them in. So that's uh, a couple of income payment methods. There are others that we'll go on to in the next couple of videos, but that's wages and salaries. They're the main types of ways people get paid. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time. PeterBlakeMath.com